I love bananas. I love them so much I sometimes buy bananas forgetting I didn't finish the last ones I had and it can result in this. Lots of overripe bananas. Look at this one. In my opinion, these are perfectly fine to eat as a snack, but I know a lot of you would rather eat poop than a brown banana. So for that, I have some solutions. First of all, I like to slice them up and freeze them. This is probably the easiest solution and it's gonna provide you with the most versatility down the line. Just throw the sliced bananas in a Ziploc bag and toss that in the freezer. You can use them in smoothies or my favorite banana ice cream. So with the frozen bananas, I gotta take them apart and then add some of them to a bowl with a tablespoon or so of cocoa powder. And those are all the ingredients. All I do is blend them up with a hand blender. It's gonna be difficult at first, but eventually you'll get them to this amazing, creamy, soft serve consistency. I also like to add a little sea salt just to enhance that chocolate flavor. And that looks really good if you think of it as chocolate ice cream and not something else. You mix chocolate ice cream with a banana? No, this is pure banana. This is pure frozen banana with cocoa powder. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. There's no dairy in this. Nothing. It has the same consistency of ice cream. What you can also do with these ugly nanners is banana pancakes. Just throw them in a bowl and give them a good mash with a fork. And after that, you can add other pancake ingredients. You might notice that I don't really measure anything unless I'm dealing with very precise foods. I think we should all learn to use our intuition a little bit more, especially with dishes like pancakes. Also, don't tell anyone, but I secretly added chili flakes because no one's gonna know. Give that a good whisk until a good batter consistency is formed and from here you just make pancakes just flip them and cook them until they're cooked and they turned out great i topped them with some honey and some black sesame seeds and they were so appealing someone wanted to steal them from me and these are an amazing breakfast but by far my favorite thing to use old bananas for is banana bread here's a really easy way to make it we start in the exact same way with some bananas in a bowl now we just add an egg some melted butter brown sugar oh, fuck. and we just whisk that up until nice and frothy now what i do is add flour in batches and also baking powder and keep mixing and adding flour until you reach the consistency of your choice i like my banana bread to be less cakey and more banana-y which is why the batter looks a bit more loose to take it to the next level i brought out some dark chocolate which of course i had to sample and i gave it a good chop before adding it to the batter you can also add nuts if you want just go crazy and i'm gonna be honest if i could i would just eat this raw but i don't want to get sick because of the raw banana in there that's dangerous i topped it with some brown sugar and that's gonna be nice and crispy baked it at 180 celsius and i pulled it a bit too early initially it was a bit undercooked but it was actually a great opportunity to finish it with some flaky sea salt i don't know how i forgot about that and eventually we got a beautiful banana bread with little melted bits of dark chocolate oozing out of it i don't like bananas but i like this do you like me i like you a lot 